Hello, I am going to spend the next few minutes going over uh, the instructions for the files that were sent to you via Ignite. So at a minimum, you should see uh, four files in your folder and the maximum amount could vary. It's possible to have as many as six, maybe even more files than that. Uh, regardless of the amount, you'll want to be sure to download and save each file to your computer. And the easiest way to do that is checking the box here and then clicking on the download selected link. So now I want to go over each file in your folder and again you'll see at least uh, four files and those four files would be the client file, K1 file, form 2553 and the federal tax file. Uh, the client file contains the federal return, supporting statements and schedules and if applicable any state returns. Uh, you'll use this file for your own review and if you encounter any inaccuracies please notify us so we can make the correction. Uh, do not sign and send the tax returns to the taxing authorities if a return is not accurate. We will need to update the return and then send you a new copy of the files. Um, we also recommend that you keep a copy of this file for your records. The next file is the K-1 and the K-1 reports the shareholder's share of the business profits or losses. Please distribute the K-1 to each shareholder as it will be needed to complete his or her individual tax return and this form is not mailed with your return. So here's an example of federal form K-1. Uh, separate, state, separate state K-1s may also be included in your file. Next is form 2553. Uh, so form 20, 2553 makes the S election on your entity. This form is required to be filed with your return, so you'll need to print out this form as signatures are required. Here are the first two pages of Form 2553. Any officer of the corporation needs to sign and date the bottom of page, page one. And then on the second page, each shareholder needs to sign and date next to his or her name. These two pages will need to be sent to the IRS along with the federal tax file. The federal tax file um, is the return you'll need to print, sign, and mail to the IRS. So I want to go over two pages of this file, the instruction page and the signature page. The instruction page, as you see here, will be the very first page of the federal file. Here is where you'll find the due date, forms to be filed, and the address to mail the file. Note that the S Corporation does not pay any taxes, nor does it receive a refund. The profits or losses of the entity pass on to the shareholders. However, some states do have franchise taxes or other taxes that are required to be paid. So this is the first page of Form 1120S, and here is where an officer will need to sign, date, and write in his or her title. And when signed, be sure to mail all pages in the file to the address on the instruction page. And also remember, do not forget to attach Form 2553 um, to this file when mailing. Uh, one form you may receive is a state file, and in this video I'm just going to use a California corporate return as an example, and other state forms will look uh, similar to this return. So like the federal file, the state file will also have an instruction page on the very first page. Uh, you'll find the due date, forms to be filed, uh, any payment or refund due, address to mail the file, and the transaction method. Note that some states require payment by check. If that is the case, a voucher will be included as part of the state file. You'll also need to sign the return before mailing. For the state of California, an officer is required to sign, write in his or her title, and date the return. Other states and entities, um, or excuse me, other states will have uh, similar requirements. Uh, when signed, be sure to mail all pages in the file to the address on the instruction page. Another file you may receive is an estimated tax payment voucher. Uh, so here's an example of a voucher and although this is for the state of California, other vouchers um, including federal and other state vouchers will look similar to this. Uh, these are not installment payments for your tax bill. So these are actually prepayments um, that will be applied to your next year's tax return. Um, these are payments that are made, again, for the current tax year. So there can be up to four vouchers, so pay close attention to each due date. 
the instructions for filing are listed here and the due date is listed here. For mailing payments, be sure to detach here and mail the voucher along with payment. If there are other forms that are part of your file that are not included in this video, uh, those instructions will be located in the body of the email. And these forms could possibly include annual reports and local returns. And just as a reminder, be sure to mail all pages of the required files. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.